Okay, so um, welcome to Saturday. Um, I hope you guys have had a good week since I've seen you last. Um, this is the second time I've filmed this video. The first time I was really distracted and really sort of uh, ADD for the moment, and I'm going to try not to be this time. And um, Sorry, I've had a really busy week, like super busy, um, like two or three presentations, a couple of tests, um, I had a paper due, and and it's it's been insane. As we were talking about discrimination um, and, and how we feel discriminated, and I live in Alabama, so, um, you know, I feel like I know a little bit about discrimination. You know, this is Alabama, this is the Bible Belt, and a lot of people have their Christian faith, and you know what, I, I don't judge them at all for that. I don't think um, badly about that. Um, I actually have a lot of good friends that are really good Christians, and I come from the Christian background. Um, I tend to be a little bit more humanist in uh, my Christian perspectives, and um, I, I believe in Jesus. Um, I, I believe in the Jesus of the New Testament, specifically of the Sermon on the Mount, um, if we want to get into religion here. That's Matthew 5 and 7. That's like the blessed or the weak and, you know, or the poor and everything like that. Um, but I, I feel like I have um, a lot of discrimination from the religious community. Um, and as you can see, like, Prop 8 has brought that out a lot of ways um, with, um, you know, the Mormon community specifically and related, related to Prop 8. But um, there are a lot of other Christian organizations that donated money that people are sort of ignoring in this. And I know that the Mormon church was, the, the LDS church was the biggest one. Um, but here in the South, um, I've had some classmates say, I had a classmate in particular say, he thinks all gay people are going to hell, which I thought was pretty interesting. And um, he's also said that he thinks AIDS is a punishment from God. And this guy's supposed to be working at um, AIDS Alabama Outreach or something like that um, next semester for his field placement. So I think that'll be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, just as far as discrimination, I feel like um, that to me is the biggest place I get it, you know, as the people that are super involved within their religious community. And, you know, then there are a lot of people who are super involved in their religious community and don't face, don't discriminate against me at all. Um, I had a very good conversation with a couple of girls the other night, and um, they're both very good Christians, and to me, they display the Christ that they claim to follow. Um, and, you know, they were just, they just both said, you know, this is what we think about homosexuality. We do believe it's a sin, but at the same time, we are sinners as well, so we are not going to judge you. Uh, back during the summer, I went to um, Atlanta Pride, my first big Pride event, and um, there are people everywhere, everywhere, and uh, the group that you had to walk through to even get inside the venue uh, were people holding their signs that was like, um, three gay rights, AIDS, death, salvation. Um, one was like, one sign said, heaven, free of fags, hell, full of fags. Um, to me, that's the kind of discrimination I feel like I, I face a lot. Um, and I'm sure we all feel like that. I feel like it's a little more prevalent here in the South. Um, but as far as that goes, you know, there's no way to make other people stop discriminating against you. That's sort of, they have to come to this own conclusion in their mind of, of why they're discriminating against you. I think, I think, you know, you can bring those questions up, you know, and, and confront them about it. But it, it's sort of beyond our control. Um, I think the best thing you can do is, like I said, confront them. Um, I believe in peaceful confrontation, though. Um, and so I think, you know, for me, I, I write a lot of blogs on my Facebook um, about homosexuality and religion. Um, and very recently I wrote one about marriage. And I wrote a couple about marriage. And I actually got one girl's very judgmental to kind of say, well, I kind of get where you're coming from now, you know, about why, um, why are we choosing to discriminate against gay marriage? Um, and I, I came about that from a perspective of if homosexuality is a sin, I entertain the idea and said, okay, even if it is a sin, why are we choosing to discriminate against this one sin and not others? Um, and so that kind of got them to thinking a little bit about that because when you put it in perspective of, of, of that, they can... You kind of have to get to where they are mentally, and I just, 
I honestly just wish that uh, it could all end, that people would just say, I don't care what the fuck you do with your life, so I'm going to live mine, you live yours, as long as you don't hurt me. What the fuck ever. Um, you know, I like Lorena's um, little little saying of, how is me marrying a woman going to affect this guy standing on the street unless I'm marrying his wife? I and mean, that's the only way, and trust me, that's not the case. Um, you know, I wish we could just get to a society where we say, let everyone live their lives peacefully as long as it doesn't cause harm or to themselves or to anyone else. And um, I kind of think that's a society we should live in, but unfortunately, it isn't. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys have a good Thanksgiving. Um, good week. I'm going home. Um, um, I hate I hate family holidays. I hate holidays like. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if we have viewers from outside the U.S. I know some of you guys are from Canada. Of course, that's outside the U.S. Um, do you guys celebrate Thanksgiving in Canada? Like, I have, I have no clue if this is just like an American holiday. This is me being an ignorant American. Um, so educate me on that, please. Uh, anyone out from outside the U.S., what, do you guys celebrate anything? Do you think we're stupid for this? I, I, I don't know. It won't, it won't hurt my feelings if you say yes. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good week. Um, sorry this is really random. Sorry it's kind of late. So yeah, have a good week.